Jazzcast Pros. Welcome back to Beauty Boss Millionaire. I'm your host, Felicia Fricassi, and I am here today full of energy and so excited to just speak with you on motherhood and business because a lot of mothers suffer from something called mom guilt. I'm actually going to just tell a little bit about how I balance it all. If you're a mom that's stepping out on faith, saying, you know what, I have to get this business started and I need to do this for my family, then you're an excellent mother. If you still have a roof over your children's head, they have food in their home, then you're doing a great job. And there's nothing wrong with you working on the side hustle, the side business until it turns into a full-time business because that's exactly what I did. Welcome back to the Beauty Boss Millionaire podcast with daily on-the-go episodes packed with testimonies and business tips to help you create financial freedom through entrepreneurship. Hosted by the owner of Fercasi Lashes and the Blow Dry Lounge, the Beauty Boss Millionaire herself, Felicia Fercasi. As you know, I'm constantly on flights. I'm flying. Like right now, I'm here in New York, and I'm actually at my sister's house. I was at a hotel for three days, and I was like, oh, I kind of feel a little lonely. So I, my sister, Denise, she's so sweet. She invited me over. She's like, oh, just come over. I just got a new place. So I come over, and I'm hanging out in her room. She sets up this room for me. She sets up candles for me. She's such a good sister. She literally made me so comfortable here. So I'm here in the room recording right now just on how to balance out everything. Well, the first thing that I want to mention that if you are a mother and you are busy with business, you have to know what balance is. In the beginning, when you start your business, you're going to be off balance. It naturally happens, but you just have to remember to take a day out for yourself and the children and really just kind of remind everyone why you're doing this because a lot of mothers suffer from something called mom guilt in business. And what that mom guilt is, is when mothers feel guilty that they're not present for every single experience for their child and they feel like they shouldn't be doing it. They feel like they're doing something wrong. They feel like the child, they're letting their child go. They feel like their child is not being properly cared for. And they also may even feel like they're a horrible mom. That has to stop. It is perfectly normal for women to run business in 2020, 2021. All the, we're in two, we're in the 2000s now. We're not in the 1900s. We're all home cooking dinner every night and, and ironing our man's pants and, and shirt so he can go to work. And we're all, it's not Little House on the Prairie anymore. We're in the real deal 2021. And whenever you're listening to this episode, but the point is that, and speak, hold on, speaking of that, so I was on Nicki Minaj's page the other day and It was an Amazon Prime commercial where it was talking about how the lady, I think her name was Rapunzel, she let down her long hair. She was kind of just waiting for the guy to come save her. And, you know, he was supposed to climb up the hair. Well, the girl basically was like, look, I got tired of waiting. So she ordered on Amazon Prime a ladder and saved herself. They show her like getting down with the ladder going on a horse and running to wherever she opens up a business and she's selling hair or something in there. I'm like, wow, that is so dope. You'll have to go on Nicki Minaj's page and just watch the Amazon Prime. It's really just Nicki Minaj's music and the girl is just like, forget all this. I can't wait. I need one day or two day Amazon Prime and here I am, you know, waiting for this guy and nobody got time for that. And at the end of the ad, they say, and the prince, well, it doesn't even matter about him. And it was like basically saying like, look, We don't have time to be waiting anymore. And the reason why I just thought that commercial was so effective, because we are now in the era where you cannot wait for people to do things for you. And moms sometimes struggle with this. They're like, oh, wait, I'm supposed to be this caregiver, which you are still a caregiver, but you're going to have to get people around you to help. Even if you just carve out a small window of time. For example, let's say that you want to carve out three hours a day of just dedicated to strictly the children or three hours a day dedicated strictly to work. The reason why I mention that is because you have to have those. And sometimes things happen. I try to schedule everything on my day off. I try to schedule things on days like Sunday is one of my sacred days where I like to just spend time with my family. I go to church. I kind of ask them how their day is going. I kind of get ready for the week. Now, obviously I'm here traveling and today's actually Sunday, even though when you listen to this, it'll probably be a different day. But this is the day where in the mornings I record a lot of my episodes and kind of just speak you, you basically have to have a system. And in the mornings I can record and then I, in the evenings I spend time with my family. So I'm not saying it has to look just like mine, but you need to make some type of schedule for yourself. If you're not an organized person, it's okay, but you need to get organized because this is going to help you be more efficient in business. It's going to help you create those boundaries and have those little times for yourself. You need time for yourself as a mother too. And a lot of moms don't do that. You need to have strictly 
soul time for yourself of just being able to breathe, relax, and just kind of care to and tend to your needs. Because a lot of moms, they sometimes don't tend to their own needs and they wonder why they're so stressed out and they snap. And a lot of people wonder, well, why is she snapping on me? Because you haven't tended to your needs. You're not able to make sure your clothes are washed or, you know, your, your health, your doctor's appointments. A lot of women really do this. And I see it all the time where they're not taking care of themselves. And then they snap. They snap on the kids, they snap on their husband, they snap on their boyfriend, they snap on whoever's with them. And the person's like, well, why is she snapping? Because you have not taken that time to take care of yourself. So self-care is really important. And we'll talk a little bit more about that on the next episode. But I really just wanted to go in detail and explain how it's important not to have that mom guilt. It's important not to feel guilty about being an awesome mother in business. It's okay. If you're a mom that's stepping out on faith, saying, you know what, I have to get this business started and I need to do this for my family, then you're an excellent mother. If you still have a roof over your children's head, they have food in their home, then you're doing a great job. And there's nothing wrong with you working on the side hustle, the side business until it turns into a full-time business because that's exactly what I did. And I knew not to let others stop me and I knew not to let myself stop me because I knew that I was creating a better life for them because of what I was doing. I was going to eventually free up my time so I could be with them more and make my own schedule and say, all right, look, I'll take you to school in the morning and then at once I take them to school, the whole the day basically is mine until three and then I stop at three and then you pick them up. So you need to kind of work towards that business so you can have that free time with your children and not be stuck in a nine to five where you can't make your schedule. You can't control the schedule. You can't do anything. You're just basically on a schedule that you don't really want to be on. I hope all of this has helped. We're going to talk a little bit more about this next. Thanks for tuning in to Beauty Boss Millionaire. That's it for today. Tune in tomorrow for the Beauty Boss Millionaire podcast. And don't forget to follow the Beauty Boss Millionaire, Felicia Fricasi, on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Beauty Boss Millionaire. Also, if these are really helpful, please review, rate, and share, or just send the link to someone who may need this. See you tomorrow.